Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Today we are going to talk about a big event in the technology circle, how Huawei still has no shortage of advanced chips, when it does not have EUV lithography machines, and TSMC cannot manufacture them. Does this sound like magic? Don't worry, we will slowly unveil this mysterious veil. First of all, we need to know what TSMC and Huawei do. TSMC is like a chef in the chip industry, specializing in cooking chips for other companies. Huawei is a Chinese technology star. It is proficient in mobile phones and network equipment. They also design chips themselves, but in many cases, these chips were cooked by TSMC, the chef. But there are unexpected events. TSMC can no longer manufacture chips for Huawei due to some international reasons. This is not a small challenge for Huawei because chips are like the heart of their products. Without this heart, the products will be difficult to launch. Huawei was not intimidated. They started their own chip research and development and production. Huawei is now able to do it on its own, develop and produce some chips. Although there is still a big gap compared with masters like TSMC, it is already a very good start. At this point, some friends may ask, how can Huawei produce advanced chips without EUV lithography machines? Don't worry, let's continue talking. EUV lithography machines are the killer in the field of chip manufacturing. They can carve extremely small circuit patterns on silicon wafers to realize the functions of chips. At present, the world's most advanced EUV lithography machines are produced by the Dutch company ASML, with a price of up to 120 million US dollars and high operating costs. Huawei will definitely not be able to own such expensive equipment for a while. However, Huawei did not give up. They began to take an unusual path by optimizing chip design, improving manufacturing processes, etc., to make up for the lack of EUV lithography machines. This is like a chef who can still make delicious dishes with superb cooking skills even though he does not have the top kitchen utensils. Huawei's R&D team is not vague. They work day and night and finally achieved some breakthrough results. For example, they have developed a new chip design architecture that can achieve high transistor density and performance without using EUV lithography machines. This is like an architect who can build a solid and beautiful building with clever design, even without the most advanced construction machinery. In addition, Huawei has also carried out in-depth cooperation with other domestic chip manufacturers to jointly overcome a series of technical difficulties. Although these companies do not have EUV lithography machines, they have unique advantages in other aspects. For example, they have accumulated rich experience and technology in chip packaging, testing and other links, and can provide strong support for Huawei. This is like a band, each member has his own specialty, and only when everyone works together can they play beautiful music. Of course, Huawei's efforts have not been in vain. Now, they have been able to produce some advanced chips. Although the number is not large, it is enough to cope with the current predicament. 
And with the continuous advancement of technology and the gradual increase in production capacity, I believe Huawei will have better performance in the future. So what impact does this have on people? In fact, the impact is really not small. First of all, we may have to be more careful when buying mobile phones. In the past, many of Huawei's mobile phones used chips manufactured by TSMC, and their performance and functions were excellent. Now Huawei has to use its own chips, so the performance and functions of the mobile phones may be different. So when we buy mobile phones, we must carefully compare and see which one is more suitable for us. For example, this incident also tells us to support independent innovation. Huawei is now working so hard to develop and produce chips in order not to be strangled by others. Then we, as people, must also support independent innovation and use our own products. After all, globalization is so strong now that many products are produced by cooperation among countries. We must look at this issue rationally. We must support independent innovation and learn to use global resources to improve our own quality of life. This incident also reminds us to be aware of danger in times of peace. Just like Huawei, they know that they can't always rely on others and have their own core technology. People also have to have their own abilities and skills and can't always rely on others. In this ever-changing era, only by continuous learning and continuous progress can we avoid being eliminated by the times. At this point, I can't help but give Huawei a thumbs up. They did not retreat in the face of difficulties, but faced them head-on and took an unusual path through their own efforts and innovation. This spirit is worth learning for each of us. Finally, I want to say that the power of technology is infinite. It can change our lives and our world. Huawei, as a representative of Chinese technology companies, is interpreting this with its own actions. I believe that Huawei will bring us more surprises and touches in the days to come. Okay, friends, let's talk about it here today. I hope this article can give everyone a deeper understanding of Huawei's chip dilemma and hope that each of us can learn something from it.